Hi, this is Eric with MSA. We're gonna talk about how the new Cairns XF1 fire helmet is truly lighting the way with integrated lighting. Unlike most fire helmets where you are attaching a light either above or below the brim on the outside, the lighting module of the XF1 is integrated so that it is streamlined and you're not getting those external snag hazards on the helmet. One of the LEDs is kind of aimed downward and the other is aimed forward and they're done so so you don't blind your fellow firefighters on the fire ground. You can see on the lighting module itself that you've got a big R for the right and the big L for the left and that is in the as warm position. Big yellow button is your interaction point, that's your on off switch and when you press the button you'll notice you'll get a series of blinks. The more blinks the more battery life you have left. Three blinks means you're at full battery, one blink means you're getting close to the end and might want to replace that battery. Installing the lighting module is a snap, literally. So you've got the R for the right on the right side of the helmet. It goes into the cavity designed for the lighting module and when you press it into place, you hear the snap and know that it is installed properly. On the left side, do the same thing, goes into the cavity and when you hear the snap, you know it's installed properly. The last piece of installation is the tab at the back and there's a sizing marker on the shell, M for medium, L for large. There's a little slot where that tab goes in and again, when you hear the click, you know it's installed properly. Again, big yellow button, easy to find with a gloved hand to turn on the lighting module and you're off and running. So that is the lighting module for the Carnes XF1 Fire Helmet. Try one today.